My name is Huaka Kukubo. I'm the national advisor for the refugee program for the United Church of Canada. My name is Melody Mui. My name is Maria Oliva. I work as a program assistant at the United Church of Canada. My name is Amaris Bashi. I'm an advisor at the refugee program at the United Church of Canada. The United Church of Canada has been a sponsorship agreement holder since 1979. Congregations across the country have been sponsoring refugees from the time of the boat people to the recent Syrian refugee crisis. I think it's very important for the United Church and for the churches across the country to provide a welcoming community for refugees. Canadians have really embraced refugee work. Since September 2015, we have seen a surge of interest from our congregations and our pastoral charges. We, in those early months we were inundated with phone calls and emails from Canadian families wanting to sponsor their refugee families overseas with congregations expressing interest in wanting to sponsor refugees. I am a refugee myself and, uh, and at, at a certain point I, I, I needed a chance which Canada gave it to me. I believe that uh, most refugees deserve this chance. Working with refugees, helping them, giving them hope is, a, is, is addictive. When you help one person, you feel the need to help another person and another person. I, for me, the uh, most important thing in the work that I've done with refugees is um, that I learn a lot about the difficult situation that refugees experience in different parts of the world. When you've had the ability to relate to people in their desperation, in their plead, for safety, in their desire for a new life, it, it embraces you, it captures your imagination, it captures your heart, it captures your soul, and it's hard to let go. Working with refugees is very gratifying. When you help a family, you know, you, you know that you're offering protection to that family, and not only to that family, being in Canada, Supporting one family might also mean that you're supporting other families. They have loved ones left behind. And sometimes when things are okay, we are able to reunite families. So it's, it's a great feeling. Congregations get involved. It's, it's new friendships. It's, you know, building the neighborhood. It's, it's a great thing. During the last year, I, I witnessed a lot of uh, private citizens who are getting together and, and, and forming groups to help. Uh, sponsoring refugees. It's been a privilege working with refugees and give me hope and, and, and to give more efforts helping more refugees come to Canada and start a new life. We are thankful for the inspiring work with refugees happening in United Churches across the country. We invite you to share your video testimonies of how you and your church became involved in working with refugees and how this has impacted your faith and community. Please share your two to three minute video testimony on social media using the hashtag UnitedWithRefugees. We look forward to seeing your responses. Thank you and blessings on your work.